Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at this semi-flexible solar panel. Now I've actually had this for quite a while but I've never made a video about it. Now if we look on the back it's got some specs so let me show you. Now the solar panel's been out in the sun so it's actually really hot so let me just zoom in on it. So you can see there it's made by Spectra and it's a 10 watt solar panel with an open circuit voltage of around 19 point, sorry I can't read it easily on the camera, but nearly 20 volts. Anyway, today we're going to do some experiments with it or just a simple experiment actually. So I put this DC jack connector on the end and that allows us to connect this cigarette lighter socket that I've got here. So let me just hook this up. Now since we're not using a charge controller or a battery, I'm just going to connect this in-car USB charger because these will actually work even with voltages higher than 12 volts. So even even if the panel puts off 20 volts, this will still manage to drop it down to 5 volts USB. Although you might want to go for a 24 volt version just to make doubly sure, but these are normally pretty tolerant of higher voltages. So as an experiment, I've taken a battery out this USB powered fan and we're just going to run it directly from this little converter here. Now to give this a better chance of working, I'm going to angle the panel a little bit towards the sun just to help it out. So let's try first speed. Now I don't know if you'll be able to see or hear that on camera, but that's come on. Let's try second speed. And yep, let me bring it closer to the microphone so you can hear it. So hopefully you can hear that on the microphone. And now let's try the top speed. And no, it can't quite manage the top speed. Let's try again. No. So it can manage the second speed, but not the top speed. And now as a comparison, we're going to try the same experiment, but with this PortaPal portable USB solar panel. Now this one is much smaller, but it actually outputs 11 watts. So let's compare the size first. So you can see it's much smaller and when you fold it up, it's even more compact. So this thing is really convenient. You can see here we've got the USB port. There you go. So again, we'll try with the fan. First speed, no problem. Second speed, no problem. Even the third speed, no problem. Let me bring it closer to the microphone so you can hear it. So hopefully you can hear that on the mic. It really has no problem powering that direct from that little solar panel. So we'll try again, but this time with my watt meter connected. So let's try. First speed, that's consuming around just under 1 watt. Second speed is consuming around 1.5 watts. And third speed is just not kicking in. Now I know that's more to do with the angle of the panel, because if I angle this, I'll get it going on the top speed. So let me try. Now I can't actually see the camera myself, but hopefully you can see in here that the fan is spinning on its top speed. I really just had to angle this towards the sun because that does make a big difference. So what's the point of this video? Well, ideally I wanted to compare this flexible or semi-flexible solar panel with this 12 volt to 5 volt converter against one of these ready-made ones. Now what I actually wanted to do is use my dummy load here, but for some reason it's not playing very nicely with this uh, little USB adapter here. So I can't measure the maximum output for some reason. But I have to say these more modern solar cells from PortaPal are so efficient, even in that tiny space, they're just so efficient. I've tested this before and I was able to pull out the full 11 watts, so it's really quite efficient. And PortaPal is actually pretty cheap compared to other brands. This semi-flexible one is quite old now, it's got a little bit of damage around the corner. So yeah, it really shows you like the advancement in technologies. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.